Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher. Sorry it's been so long since I've made another video because um, I just upgraded my graphics card to the um, GTX 1070, so that means that I can do a little bit better screen recording while I'm doing um, color grading and things like that, especially when we get on some Ursa Mini 4K footage like we're going to do today. So, let's get into it. So basically, um, I shot this for a music video. These are three separate shots that are slow motion. Um, if you don't know, the Ursa Mini 4K does 60 frames per second now in 4K, which is awesome. Um, generally speaking, I don't need more than 60 frames a second slow motion. If I do need 120, I can always jump up um, to 1080p and just shoot some. But anyway, we shot this story uh, part to this music video in 60 frames a second on the uh, Ursa Mini in ProRes, I believe we're in ProRes LT or ProRes 422, I can't remember, but they're pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda gonna show you some different tricks and uh, and some different things I, I did to grade these. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so this first clip is of these guys and they're, uh, they're well, they're, they're waiting, this isn't the actual shot, but basically they're waving him in, trying to convince him to jump in this awesome 1970 Monte Carlo. So. The thing is, we wanted to give the story, um, per, the story in the music video, a very nice, warm look. Um, you know, it's supposed to kind of happen like at sunset. It's just like party that's happening at night. The problem is, this was midday. It was cloudy out. It was kind of nasty. So we had this like really gray and just kind of, you know, boring look. But the thing is, I, I want to go in and make this stylized, you know, sunset kind of look. So let's kind of let's jump in. Let's see what we can do. So. I could, if I wanted to, go to input LUT. I could go from, you know, like an Amira to like a Rec 709, but I don't want to do that because I'm gonna I'm gonna do these from scratch. So what we're gonna do is let's uh let's bring this contrast up just a tad, but I kind of like having that detail there in the shadows. Let's bring our blacks. Uh, we're gonna bring our blacks down. We're gonna bring actually our shadows up just a touch. Um. Now we're going to bring our saturation all the way up just to see what that looks like for now. That's probably a little much. Probably going to go somewhere around 167 or so. That looks pretty nice. Our exposure is pretty good. Now, let me show you a cool trick. So in this shot, I know this was clipped right here. So theoretically, I could consider that a white balance. But again, it's already it was already set in camera. The thing is, this is a cool trick I like to use. Sometimes I use the white balance to manipulate what it looks like during the time of day. Reason being is, uh, during the golden hour, when the sun sets, you, the sun's light is not 5600 Kelvin anymore. It becomes a little more warm. So what I could do is I could move the white balance slider a little bit more towards uh, our yellow over here. So about 30. And this gives us this more, you know, this was around sunset kind of look. Which to me is great because it still looks very natural, yet we're not having to push it into grade later if we want to grade stuff later on. So I like that. So let's go down to our creative tab. We're not going to do anything on our creative tab. Curves. Um, I kind of want to bring down that green a little bit and bring up this yellow of this Monte Carlo. So let's grab that area there that that yellow is in. And something like that. And then let's grab that green. So all we got to do is just make two points. We can pull them down just like that. So see, what that did is... If I turn this off, we kind of pulled that green down the backs ever so slightly, and we kind of brought up this this you know creamy yellow color. Um, and again, all you do is use the hue saturation curve and just make some points. This is great for adding um, you know specific shades and you know at specific shots. Um, color wheels really don't want to do too much. Let's check their skin tone in the HSL secondary. So I'm gonna grab. Our guitarist skin tone here. That's pretty good, actually. So we're going to blur that just a touch. Now, if you look at our vector scope over here, if I let go, it'll grab everything. So I'm going to hold on to this. If you look at our vector scope over to the left, we can see that we're pretty much on the right skin tone. Maybe bring it a hint towards reds a little bit. And that seems to bring it over just... A smidge closer to the right skin tone and again we still have that nice warm look overall and on this this has a very stylized look so I kind of like to add a little bit of a vignette nothing too much but I think that looks pretty cool 
So if we go through, looks like we're kind of at sunset. If I wanted to, I could even push that further, but I don't really, I mean, I don't know, that's not bad looking. It looks kind of cool. So something around there. That looks pretty cool. That again, looks like we're at sunset. I might drop the saturation overall just a touch. Yeah, I like that, about 150. That looks nice. So as you can see, if we turn our basic correction off, that did a massive chunk. And then, uh, yeah. So that looks cool. All right. So let's jump on another clip and see what we can do. So we have this clip, which is a, a fan here. Now, this music video is for Frank Palangi. Um, he's a local artist in my area. Uh, awesome musician. So go check out his music. Um, the music video will be up on his Vivo channel very soon. All right, so this is a pretty cool shot. But again, same thing. We want to have that sunset sort of look. And we kind of want to highlight everyone, make sure their skin tone's on, and make sure it sort of matches this look here. So let's drag that. So to me, that looks pretty good. We get nice and warm. Again, that sun's coming down. And it basically would be facing them in theory. Um, it's kind of cool we can fake that. Let's bring the contrast up just a touch. Bring the shadows up, but then those blacks drop them down there. That looks pretty nice. And then this one's already pretty saturated, so I don't want to saturate that too much. I like about 122 there. That looks pretty good. Um, let's go into the curves, and I kind of want to bring, or you know, let's actually let's do it with the qualifier. Let's change that red, and let's see if we can mess with that red color. We're gonna grab these, we're gonna widen them out a little bit, just so we can try, try to get just that red. See if we can kind of blur that just a touch. And I kind of want to really make that a very strong, deep red. I don't think it's a mess with their skin a little bit. Hey, you know what? All right, let's not do that. Let's set the key color though to their skin because we want to make sure their skin tone is right. So we have just about our skin there. So let's turn that saturation back to 100% because that looks a little ridiculous now. And let's see where they're at on that wheel. All right, so they're they're a little orange here, so we might bring them just a touch this way. And that seemed to look pretty natural. Maybe even desaturate their skin just a touch. I think it looks a little nicer. It makes the sign pop. And um, that would be cool, actually. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make this sign pop. See? <laughs> I get a little sidetracked sometimes. but So let's make this blue really pop out. Let's make sure we got all that. Let's blur that. Let's bring that saturation way up. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. So now we're really, so now our, you know, our eyes, and, and this is kind of the fun of, of, of grading and, and doing color correction, is we can sort of dive in and see what looks better, and I think I'm going to turn down the saturation just a touch. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of cool. Now we, you know, we took these shots, and granted, these don't match perfectly, but again, these are at different times of the day um, and different spots, but it's now, it's really cool. You know, that's a great example of how to use the HSL qualifier and how you can pull out something like this. So we want to see this We Love Frank sign. And uh, yeah, all right, so let's jump on to the next clip. I add a little bit of vignette there too. All right, so this one is a cool one. This is them fighting. This is Frank right here. So we see we got this nice little lens flare popping over from a, a low light we had. So again, we want to do the same thing. We want it to sort of match that same look. So let's move that white balance slider over. I like that. Let's bring that contrast up. Again, same thing. We're bringing the shadows up and then those blacks down just a touch. Um, I'm going to leave the saturation, honestly, at about 100. Whoops, about 100% there. To me, that looks pretty good. But what I want to do is let's jump down into our HSL, or excuse me, our color wheels. I want to add a little bit of blue to the shadows there and then bring the back up the warmth. Let's qualify his skin because we really want to make sure that his skin is good for this. Let's see, that's oh, we got a lot. Let's let's remove. Let's rem we're gonna click the remove tool here and remove that back color. See if that helped any. Hmm. See, it's tough like this. 
we go back, maybe we'll just turn that off and see. I don't know, his skin tone isn't bad. We might have to go up, bring this down a touch, and then I think get rid of the blue in that color wheel. I think that's, yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. Slap on a little bit of a vignette. I do want to brighten this up a touch. Bring those highlights up. Yeah, there we go. Let's go back into the color wheels. Let's add a little more orange in the highlights. And we'll bring actually that back down just a touch. And there we go. That looks pretty cool. That's a nice little stylized look. Now, of course, we could do something with LUTs. So let's say we want to do these with LUTs. We could turn off, go into effects controls. We can delete Lumetri Color, delete Lumetri Color, and delete Lumetri Color. That's an easy way just so you know to go to effects controls, delete Lumetri Color. So if you want to do something like a LUT, like I have the Triune Films uh, Cinema LUTs, which I did a review on. I highly recommend you go grab those. Something like maybe Interstellar would look really cool for this. You know, again, it gives you a whole different look. Um, and if we were to, you know, throw that on all of them, and then we can sort of match the clip. So I'm going in and I'm going to the Creative tab, putting in Interstellar. And then, you know, we could go in the Creative tab and we could still warm up, you know, the whites there so that way it looks a little more natural. Again, bring up our shadows, kind of like what we did before. And to me, that's pretty cool. We could go in and do a whole different look with those LUTs. So it's really up to whatever you're looking for. Um, I'm going to do some more color grading videos too, like this, some different tips. I really just kind of want to show you guys the using the white balance as a to warm up the entire shot. I know that's technically not a the correct way of doing things, but then again, I think in color grading, there really is no correct way. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of a cool tip. And um, I'm going to do some more videos grading some... Ursa mini footage soon. I'm going to show you how I did some more stuff in the music video. Um, how we did, how we actually slow the footage down, things like that soon. I also have a video coming up on some drone stuff. Um, so hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned for some more. Comment if you have any questions or you have any videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys soon.